Hello everyone, this is Gary again for a Team Maker Monday. This week we are doing watercolor painting. Uh, if you got the kit from the library, you'll have some watercolor postcards. So don't write your postcard out before you paint. Paint first, let it dry, and then write or your words are going to get all smudgy. So um, what you're going to need besides watercolor paper uh, is some watercolor paints, a paintbrush, a cup of water, Paper towels are a good idea to have handy and something underneath of your um, painting area, either a tray, um, piece of cardboard, some something that it's okay to get wet and messy, even though it'll be washable. Oh, a cutting board is what I used when I did this at home because I don't have these lovely plastic trays at home. Um, so anything that will wipe off. And then this is not going to be a professional painting lesson, just so you know. <laughs> if you are looking for a more professional painting lesson, you don't have access to an art teacher. Um, we do have an online resource called Creative Bug that you can log into with your library card and um, then you can get more instruction that way. So a couple things that I made for my samples was a little sunset um, and then just some random colorful blobs. Um, both of these are very simple to do and I'm sure you can do it even better than me. Um, for our video today, this one went a little faster for me so I'm going to do another sunset. The first thing you're gonna do is to get your paper all wet entirely. So you just, that part's really easy. Uh, you don't have a big brush in your kit. If you have one at home, that's awesome. And if not, you can use a piece of your paper towel to get it all wet. Um, however, you want to get it all wet is the technique that we're gonna use today. Um, and then we're gonna start, always start with your lightest color. So we're gonna start with our yellow. Get it all wet in here. And then you just go. And the cool thing about watercolors is if you mess it up or it's too dark or something, um, you just add more water to it and it will lighten up. It will take longer to dry, but then, you know, it will dry and then it will look just fine and no one will ever know um, that you had to add more water that way. So just painting away and I want my sun to be right there. So I'm make that spot a little lighter with more water. Kind of worked. We'll add darker on the sides and balance it out. Then we're going to do some orange. Some orange, whoop, a little more orange. Come on, orange. There we go. Just really just smush it around. It's not too bad. And it, it looks really um, co contrasted right now, but we're gonna blend it a little more. You just get your paintbrush wet and you just kind of smush it all throughout. And then, I don't know, you just keep going. <laughs> And you make it however you want. And then we get some red. A little more water. And you can make yours however you want. Just blend them together a little more there. So it's not like a straight line cross. You can see how my water's running down because I'm on a slant. And then I did some red and black at the very top is how it got kind of darker red. So black will always make your colors a little darker, just like adding the more water will lighten them up. Get in there. All right, now we get some black going just a little bit. Kind of smush it together. You can also make a little puddle um, on your paint, um, paint palette or a plate or something else where you can kind of mix your colors before um, you put them on your paper if you'd like. And there you go, there's kind of our sunset. Kind of running down into my sun because we're on that slant, but mostly, mostly there. Um, so if you want to make a kind that is a little more abstract like this, uh, you're going to get everything wet just like we did to begin the other one and just kind of drop little blobs of whatever colors of your paint and then just kind of turn your paper up and to the sides and let it kind of all mush together and then let it sit and dry and that's how it will come out. Kind of like what's happening on my sunset now. <laughs> Since I'm on a slant, it's running. The sun is getting run over, but that's okay. <laughs> and paper towels are a good thing to have handy too. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but always good. Have fun.